to my YouTube channel. We are going to be starting the series on uh, .NET programming, specifically VB.NET, and we are going to be using Visual Studio 2019, and we are going to start with basic concepts and then some advanced topics in uh, VB.NET. So let's get started. Syntax of how um, uh, an application, a Windows application is made in um, .NET, specifically in VB, Visual Basic. Uh, now we are going to talk about the basic value or data types. In the previous one, I am um, just talk, talk about DIM, but I did not tell you completely what the data types are supported. So we are going to be looking at it in this uh, uh, lecture. And again, this is chapter number one of the book with title Professional Visual Basic 2008. And its PDF uh, is included with these um, uh, lectures and you will find it with the same title as I've told you. So the data types that are supported are boolean, uh, byte, character, date, time, decimal, double, integer 16, 32, 64, f-byte, single and time span. Not all are part of our course but basic ones that are important and that are frequently used would be discussed and the first of them is uh, the boolean type. The boolean type is basically represents a true or a false. It's usually a result of a condition. So as I told you before we will use the keyword dim. Here is the name of this particular variable that we are declaring bln true as is keyword boolean means that we are declaring it as a boolean and you can see that in the same line we are initializing it as well. So it's totally up to you. You can write dim bln true as boolean is equal to true or alternately you can simply do uh, um, is that you can uh, write dim and then b as a boolean and in the next line b is equal to true you can do it like this as well and again uh, this is important to note that uh, you don't give any semicolons at the at the end of each line so that's a bit different second line it is declaring a variable as boolean and initializing it to false and then uh, we have a bit of statement if else etc uh, which we are going to discuss later this line you can see uh, initially, in the um, last week lectures, I uh, told you a bit about console.writeLine, but I did not implement it because basically a console.write and um, would work only when you have created a console application because we created a Windows ap application, there uh, console.writeLine will not work, will not display anything, either will not give an error, but won't display anything. For that, if you want to display something, um, an alert box or something, it is also a part of Windows application that I will also tell you maybe in the next lecture. Uh, so this is what we have done. Created a Boolean type uh, data type variable, then integer. Integer has a short, it is 2 bytes. In 16, it is 2 bytes again. And uh, u in 16, 2 bytes, uh, the value ranges you can see are different. And then we have integer of 4 bytes, uh, int 32, 4 bytes, this is the same, syntax same. You can either you use a short or int 16. Basically, uh, it is different between, difference between the versions of Visual Basic 6 and the, the later versions. And u in uh, 32, which is 4 bytes, but it ranges from 0 to this maximum value long, you see 8 bytes and such a long value it has, u in 64 and so on. If I go down and further now, it is uh, it is doing it uh, like uh, what do you say in separate chunks. So what we are going to do is that we will um, one by one check the values and types. And what you are going to do here, they haven't mentioned it, but what you will do if you want to declare an integer, simply um, what you are going to do is uh, dim a as integer, for example that's it then b as integer that's it then uh, dim c as integer and then c is equal to a plus b and then you can display it as well and we will see this we will uh, do each and everything we can do this so we will copy this and we will go for uh, this thing. Uh, I have simply um, copy paste the, what I had written in that uh, PDF file, uh, three variables and I have also initialized them definitely and then we will add them right here and we will now debug, uh, sorry, build this solution first. Uh, 
for compilation and then you have to debug the solution start debugging so i have uh, written this code on mouse hover so uh, when i hover over this mouse 11 is displayed okay so this is the addition we are uh, going to uh, declare um, these uh, variables um, and we are going to initialize them here 5 and this one is 6 um, and we are simply going to uh, write um, the output C here okay. right here C okay C is equal to right A uh, initialize the 6 5 C is equal to A plus B and simply uh, we are going to uh, print C and we haven't declared C so it is giving an error that's what I forgot see you can see integer if I type uh, double double will come if I type string string will come and so on that I want integer I can select from here okay Simple. Now we will have no error. Let's build this solution. 11 should be the output first. Hello world, then 11. Start debugging. See, you see the output. First line, hello world. Next line, 11. This is actually the output you will see. Copy this example and run it uh, in our um, uh, basic uh, console application. And uh, what we are going to do, simple. Uh, this okay that's it what you are going to do uh, two variables one is long the other one is single and long dot max value like uh, in uh, l we will um, would like to display the maximum value of long using the max value first you have to debug uh, sorry first you have to sorry build it build the solution and when uh, it will build, we will simply uh, debug this. Start debugging. Let's see what's the output. See, this is the output of long. This is the maximum value of long that you see. Here we have double decimal character and byte data types, dim uh, ch. This is the name of the variable, and data type is. CHAR you can declare it with any corrector you want to and this is basically the ASCII code and it will show you different uh, values and let's see what is going to be the output of all these we are simply going to copy it and then we will console dot write line um, CHR LTR CHR LTR Okay. Mm. A. Now we have another LTR. Okay. Mm. Right here we are going to paste underscore A. Then there is another value. Then we have uh, another as B. So let's see what happens. Uh -huh. LTR ASC sorry ASC underscore B this is what even I've forgotten the name of uh, the variables either it is going to give a red um, line underneath it or it is going to simply give me an error or show me an option that you can uh, do or uh, select all these um, options so we can do it as well and we are going to build this uh, so in case of any, any any error it's very easy it is it has got the name of all the variables that we have declared and if there is an issue it will show you start debugging and we see this in the first line we have a because whatever is given in double quotes is printed and then again after uh, we uh, convert C A C H E R 97 so the 90 equivalent of 97 ASCII even con converted to 97 is again an A okay and then we have C H R uh, w uh, convert to uh, character and then from ascii to character so you have chr or chrw both are data types that uh, you can uh, use and 98 means b 99 would be c and so on so that's why this output is shown
like this byte data type uh, byte uh, type basically expects uh, a numerical value so uh, if you want to assign a letter uh, for example a b or c you would have to know the appropriate correct code for for example a b c or anything right uh, so asc is used for ascii okay so yeah, because it ex, um, accepts you to enter a numeric value so what this asc will do this will convert this a into an ascii um, and a numeric value and would assign to this byte literal as um, initialized as byte so you can run this also uh, let's see uh, another thing uh, Okay, it's coming itself. We are going to debug this. Uh, sorry, build this. Then we will start debugging. Okay, what's the output? It's 97. See? 97 is the ASCII of A. So, this is vice versa as compared to the one we used uh, before. We were talking about this uh, corrector data type. So, the corrector will basically display the corrector and this byte would uh, basically give the numerical value of that corrector. So, they can be used vice versa and then we are going to talk about date and time uh, uh, we have to declare a variable with the type date and now basically gives uh, you the current uh, uh, time and uh, today will give you the date of today and so on one by one i'm going to run these things right here and uh, uh, another thing I would like to tell you is that if you want to make a comment here um, in .NET environment in uh, Visual Basic, you will use this uh, single quote. Okay. I want to display DTE now. DTE now. DTE now and here we will display DTE today. Okay. Like this. So we have printed this uh, date now and date today and we are simply going to run it. I have already built it. So you see the output. The first one is showing uh, today's date but with the, this the current time and the second one is telling you about today's uh, date but 12 uh, am just the date so now we'll tell you also the time of today as well okay um, again um, you can also set a format of uh, date so let's see how it will work build the solution and then uh, debug the solution uh, let's see how it works see it's so showing Friday April 16 why because uh, we have first given a particular uh, format for 16 1956 that it is going to um, uh, simply uh, give uh, the month first and then the date and then uh, the year I have hard coded the value and it is uh, printing at it as it is but it is also giving the day right here because I have converted it to long date string 